Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Andy Lichtenwolner, Director of the Office of Evangelization and Discipleship. And on behalf of our office, it's my pleasure and privilege to welcome Bishop Joel Kahnzen, our pastors and other clergy present, our directors of religious education and other parish catechetical leaders, campus ministry leaders, staff, guests, and especially all our recipients of awards today. Bishop Kahnzen will now open our awards ceremony with a brief word of welcome and an opening prayer. Thank you, Bishop Kahnzen. It just, there you go. Thank you, Andy. Yes, good afternoon to all of you and thank you to all of you. We welcome you. I add my welcome as we remotely are able to offer this Parish Catechetical Awards Ceremony. Pleased to be able to spend this time with you uh, because you represent in many ways the heart of what our church seeks to do for the kingdom of God. You teach and proclaim the gospel to the faithful of all ages. You recruit others to assist in your vital ministry in our parishes. You witness to youth what it is to be Christ-centered and to spend your life in service. And often you befriend and provide example to those who are hurting or who need your guidance. You direct those who are experiencing conversion to the harbor of truth and unity that is the church. And you assist our pastors through your training and your readiness to train others. For all these reasons, I'm happy to be part of recognizing your efforts on behalf of the church in the Archdiocese of Atlanta. Pope Francis himself presided last month over the institution of lay ministers at a mass at St. Peter's, recalling more and more for us what the Second Vatican Council made clear in Lumen Gentium. The lay apostolate is a participation in the salvific mission of the church itself, just as the sacraments of the new law by which life and the apostolate of the faithful are nourished, prefigure a new heaven and a new earth, so too the laity go forth as powerful proclaimers of a faith in things to be hoped for. I'm sure that you have no doubt that your work is carried out with a good bit of hope day after day and in the ordinary surroundings of the world, as Lumen Gentium says, but through it, sometimes some extraordinary things result. Thank you for your exercise of true servanthood. And may God continue to bless all that you do in his holy name. And now let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pour out on us, O God, a spirit of truth, understanding, and peace, that knowing what is pleasing to you, we may pursue it with our whole heart and with all our will. Grant, we pray that these servants of yours who have endeavored to spread the revelation of Christ your Son through their actions and their teaching may experience an abundance of grace, mercy, and peace, and continue to witness the truth and charity that comes only from the servant and shepherd we acclaim as Lord. We make this prayer in his name, in Christ Jesus, our Savior and our God. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of Hope, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Bishop Kahnzen, for those inspiring words and for leading us in prayer today. Um, as the Bishop mentioned, we, we come together today to recognize and honor some very special co-workers in the vineyard, our parish catechetical leaders, or as we commonly call you, PCLs. So our PCLs, who are both paid and volunteer, and include those in youth ministry, faith formation, RCIA, as well as those working in missions and collegiate campus ministries. Our PCLs work quietly and tirelessly to evangelize and educate our children, youth, young adults, adults, senior adults, in the fundamentals of our Catholic faith. And they really accompany all the folks that they serve on the path of discipleship. So as leaders, you know the blessings and challenges of ministry, the combination of helping people young and old encounter the Lord and grow in the faith, forming others to hand on the faith. In addition to taking care of many administrative tasks. As catechetical leaders, you are on the front lines of evangelization, 
striving as our Holy Father, Pope Francis, so often reminds us to keep the charisma at the centerpiece of our work. The proclamation of the saving work of Jesus Christ and the love of God revealed through his son. Thank you for proclaiming the gospel in so many ways by your words, your deeds, your acts of service the little tasks of administration and the bigger tasks and the bigger conversations, the way you help form your catechists, accompany your catechists and serve the church in so many ways. Today, we have this opportunity to express our profound gratitude to you and to ask the Lord's abundant blessings to be upon you. Thank you all. So for our virtual program today, we will begin by recognizing our parish catechetical leaders for years of service, and today we're recognizing those at five years of service up through 25 years and in five-year increments. After that, we will have a few special recognitions for our parish catechetical leaders who have served long and well in this archdiocese and have either retired or are relocating and or moving to new ministries. Then we will recognize the graduates of the certificate programs from the University of Dayton in catechesis adult formation leadership, and youth ministry. Lastly, we will provide special recognition to one youth minister with a Companion on the Journey Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Federation of Catholic Youth Ministry, or NFCYM. So I will now provide an overview of our years of service awards and introduce the recipients. As many of you know, for several years, our office has recognized parish catechetical leaders who have served our archdiocese in five-year increments. And it's such a blessing to have the gift of sustained ministry leadership in this archdiocese. And while many of our leaders are employed, some also are volunteers, and we're so grateful for you. We're thankful for this opportunity today to lift all of you up, and especially these ministry leaders, lifting them up in prayer, and recognizing your vital contribution to the church's mission here in the archdiocese. After I mention all the names under each category for years of service, we'll have a chance to show our support. So just to remind you, feel free to use your reaction button on the bottom right of your screen to show your support. And for those leaders who have already received your pin or coin in the mail as a sign of recognition for the work that you've done in the years of service, if you have that already, please feel free to hold it, that up when your name is called. So Benny, I think we're ready to move on to our recognition of years of service. And we're gonna start with our five year recipients. So recognizing five years of service of work in this Archdiocese of Atlanta, Teresa Brader, Ryan Cottrell, Deacon King Cooper, Amy Friedman, Tina Guyton, Gretchen Heath, Deacon Henry Hine, Kathy Hogan, Casey Jordan, Bonnie Kaplan, Gloria Kennerty, Jenny Keel, Deacon Thomas Kretzmer, Sandy Major, Carl McColeman, Fran McColeman, Mary Beth McKenna, Michelle McFeely, Robin Morgan, Terry Odom, Teresa Ryan, John Henry Spann, Gilberto Savarca, Rosanna Savarca, Delilah Tanner, Alice Taylor, Judith Van Velsor, Rogelio Vergara, and these are our PCLs who are being recognized for five years of service. Thank you so much for all you do for the Archdiocese. So thank you so much. Our next round is our 10 years of service here in the Archdiocese of Atlanta. Tiffany Cadogan, Cindy Kaufman, Christina Corbin, Vince DiMio, Deacon Paul Doppel, Yvette Mafoud, Kimberly O'Reilly, Kelly Simpson, 
Dan Summers, Mary Vojas, Yvonne Waits, and Michael Zaki. Thank you all so much for 10 years of service and ministry to this archdiocese. So 15 years of service is our next category. Um, Susan Davidson, Sachiko Doresti, Melissa Drudge, Vivian Fernandez, Laura Hernandez, Patrick Klein, Megan Kyle, Elizabeth Medina, Lori Rogers, Lancia Sexius, Rose Marie Turner. Thank you so much for 15 years of service to this archdiocese. So at 20 years of service, Suzanne Coughlin, Diane McGuire, Margarita Madrid, Katie Oubre, Victoria Reeves, Kimberly Parrish. Congratulations on 20 years of service to this archdiocese. Thank you so much. <laughs> lastly, at 25 years of service this year, mm -hmm. this is our this is our high year for the five-year increments. Lisa Altman, Joyce Juris, Dr. Randall Mandock, Claire O'Malley, and Mary Sue Pitsko. Thank you so much for a quarter of a century of service to this Archdiocese of Atlanta and all the ways that you serve and minister. That's a lot of years of service um, that we're so grateful. Thank you all for all the ways that you serve this archdiocese. So now I wanna move on to some special recognitions awards. Um, and if I were to kind of take each of these names individually, um, I just wouldn't, we wouldn't have time to do it. Uh, so I'm going to have to kind of move through quickly, but each of these individuals have actually been uh, personally very impactful for me in my short time here at the Archdiocese since 2018. And to, to lose them is a, uh, certainly will have an impact in the Archdiocese, but I'm, I'm hopeful that we're not losing them for good. Some have moved on to other responsibilities, other jobs, some are retiring, but I think we'll, we'll be staying in close contact with them and finding ways to collaborate as we move forward. So as you can see on the slide, we have, we have five PCLs that we're lifting up um, that either have retired, moved on to other work, relocating, you know, and each of these folks on the screen have been great leaders in their parishes and have contributed to the archdiocese more broadly in various creative and sometimes pioneering ways, covering the areas of evangelization, faith formation, family catechesis, youth ministry, and RCIA, to name a few. So with all of these leaders, I, I know we'll, we'll find a way to stay in touch with you. I, I look forward to collaborating with you as we can. And I am, again, personally grateful to each one of you uh, for the support and guidance you've given me over the last several years and in our office. So without further ado, we recognize Kathy Kelly Huey, Kathy McCormick, Lorraine Miller, Rosemary Potts, and Lynn Ori. Thank you for your service to this archdiocese, the many years that you have given um, to bring the Lord to others and to help train and form catechists. Thank you so much. Well, 
Well, congratulations to all of our PCLs for the years of service awards and recognition and for those who are moving on to um, other exciting opportunities. I'd now like to turn it over to my colleague, Michelle McHale Pickard, our ministry lead for catechesis and certification in the office, who is now gonna speak about the University of Dayton certification program and introduce our certificate recipients there. Michelle, thank you. Thank you, Andy. Um, I wanna first acknowledge some of the people who help us administer the program through you, Dayton, uh, who, because we are doing this virtually, are able to join us. I want to welcome Sister Angela Ann Zerkowski, Director for VLCFF, Richard Drabeck, Assistant Director for the VLCFF, and Laura Franklin, Assistant for Special Projects for VLCFF, who are joining, joining us to help us celebrate. So um, moving on to a brief description of what the University of Dayton Certificate Program is. Uh, the first Atlanta cohort started back in 2015. Seven, for seven years, there have been over 143 graduates of the certificate programs with 64 in progress for their certificate in catechesis, 39 in progress towards youth ministry certificate, and nine working towards adult formation leadership completion. We have also had eight catechists who have pursued and received more than one certificate. And each program runs uh, 18 months. And so it is definitely a, um, a labor of love. And I thank you all for being willing to put forth that effort and to continue your education so that you can continue to teach and bring the word of Christ to others. We hope to add uh, 10 to 15 new students each year moving forward. So again, our certificates that we make available are in catechesis, are in adult formation leadership and youth ministry. And if this has hopefully inspired you to think that you would like to do those too, please let me know and Laura and I will work with you and get you into the program. Um, as your name is called, if you happen to have your certificate, hold it up. Uh, feel free you to use, again, your reaction button at the bottom of your screen to show your support. Um, and so for catechesis, that um, catechesis involves and inspires uh, the scripture that he taught with authority, both in Matthew and in Mark. He taught with authority. Those who teach with authority will impact lives. This certificate program is designed for adults to become true catechists. This training takes commitment, dedication, confidence, and zeal. Catechists are trained to teach the faith with wisdom and knowledge. So our first uh, certificate is for certificate of catechesis levels one and two. Our uh, certificate uh, holders are Jillian Guidry, Rachel Elizabeth Flores, Paula Cress, Mary Beth McKenna, Christopher Maisano, and Maureen Finnegan Skajan. Congratulations. worked. Thank you, Benny. Okay, for our next certificate, that is the Certificate for Adult Formation Leadership. This certificate, for certifi eh, certificate program is designed for adults in parish or diocesan ministry wishing to design, implement, and facilitate adult learning and faith formation for all adults as adult faith formation leaders, coordinators, catechists, facilitators in parishes or dioceses. So our certificate of adult formation leadership goes to Anthony Kozlkowski. Congratulations, Anthony. <laughs> and our last certificate, but definitely not the least, is Certificate in Youth Ministry. This certificate is designed for adults in parish youth ministry settings wishing to develop skills for effectively engaging our young people in parish settings. The Certificate in Youth Ministry is designed for adults who are working with secondary aged adolescents, age 12 to 18. So our Certificate of Youth Ministry this year is for Beverly Fox. Congratulations, Beverly.
congratulations to each and every one of you. And now I would like to take this opportunity to turn it over to Patrice Spiro, our ministry lead for family catechesis and curriculum. She will introduce the Companions on the Journey Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Federation for Catholic Youth Ministry or NFCYM. Patrice. Thank you, Michelle. The Companions on the Journey Award is the highest recognition from the National Federation for Catholic Youth Ministry for a diocese to confer to an individual. This year's recipient has demonstrated excellence in youth ministry as reflected in renewing the vision, commitment to ongoing education and formation, longevity in ministry, five plus years, a commitment to young people and outstanding leadership at the parish deanery and or diocesan level. Casey Jordan has been serving her parish of St. Augustine of Hippo in Covington, Georgia for the past seven years as a director of faith formation for middle and high school students. Her fellow staff members describe Casey as a wonderful youth minister who is dedicated and who gives so much to the teens of the parish. Casey has seven children with her husband, Kurt, who is retired from the US Navy. She understands the importance of and has actively promoted family faith formation. Casey's philosophy on life is that connections matter and she takes seriously the call on her life to impact the people God puts in her path, connecting with teens and letting them know that they are loved by her and more importantly by God is her passion and being able to be part of others growing closer to God brings her heart overflowing joy and peace, even in the midst of the busyness of her family's life. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Casey creatively found new ways to connect with parish teens, to support them as they continue to grow in their relationship with God and with one another. Casey's passion for Christ and warm, generous, loving spirit has inspired some of her own youth group participants to follow her example and to become youth ministers themselves. Before her time at St. Augustine's, Casey served as a missionary to China for three years and as an educational resource specialist for an international education nonprofit. Casey was also a founding member of Camp to Belong Georgia, a nonprofit that serves siblings separated in foster care. Casey has a passion for reuniting siblings as a way to form stronger relationships in their lives to help them as they age out of the system and navigate their way through life with the support of their siblings and the volunteers who care about them. In addition to all of this, Casey has been named St. Augustine of Hippo Catholic Church's Woman of the Year. It is my great pleasure to present this award to Casey Jordan. And now I will turn it over to Andy Lichtenwaller. Thank you. Thank you, Patrice. And congratulations, Casey. Uh, as Patrice was going over that bio, I was wondering, what have you not done? Uh, it's just amazing. Thank you so much for all that you do for the Archdiocese and, and for our communities. Last but not least, it's my privilege now, and probably we might embarrass her a little bit too, to recognize one of our colleagues who has been working for the Archdiocese for just about 12 years, uh, seven years in our office, uh, formerly formation and discipleship and more recently evangelization, evangelization and discipleship. But she's been a key player behind the scenes on this event and so many events that our office has run, Destiny Marquez. Destiny is leaving our office later this month uh, for another, uh, for really an opportunity to be closer to home. Um, she'll be um, also another job opportunity, but really being able to be closer to home and family. And we are certainly sad to see her go, uh, but are happy for this new opportunity for Destiny and her family. So Destiny, thank you for all your work for us and all the ways you have served our office and the Archdiocese often in unseen ways. So please know of our prayers and best wishes. God bless you.
throw in a little extra applause in there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, congratulations to all of our leaders who have been recognized today. Um, I know we we want to meet in person again, and we'll be looking to do that um, as we move into future years. Uh, virtual is not the epitome of everything, but we're so grateful to have this opportunity to lift you up today and to have so many of our guests here today uh, supporting you, families, coworkers in the vineyard. So. We have come to the end of our recognitions portion of the ceremony, and I'm pleased now to invite Bishop Kanzen back to offer some final comments and a closing prayer for us. Bishop Kanzen. Well, I just want to say, as somebody who spent a summer at the University of Dayton once along the way for me, uh, it was a pleasure for me to see Nancy Franklin's background there and to see the chapel at the University of Dayton, which I remember fondly. So thanks to our friends at the University of Dayton, the other Society of Mary, besides the one that I belong to. So congratulations to all of you who have won awards and awarded uh, recognition today. Thanks from the Archdiocese, from the Archbishop, uh, from all of us. Uh, of course, you're rewarded all the time and the results of your labor, but it's good too to know that your church, your central office, your bishop, all express their gratitude for the ways that you make our mission come alive in a hundred places throughout the archdiocese. On behalf of Archbishop Hartmeyer, I extend a blessing to each one of you, asking God to let you know each day how you're an instrument of his word, an instrument of the joy of the gospel. And so, may Almighty God bless each one of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I came to get him. Live on in his oh, love. Oh, he's fine. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Amen. Hey, thank you so much, Bishop Kanzen. Um, and thank you, everybody, for being here today. So we'll now run our closing video and then invite you all to unmute your microphones and we can visit for a while. So God bless you. Thank you again.